Hello friends, this video limit and derivative part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 18. In this example, we have to find derivative of sin x using first principle. So we have fx is equal to sin of x. So we have to find f dash of x. So f dash of x, f of x plus h minus f of x by why we are doing this? Because we are asked to use first principle where h tends to 0. This is nothing but sine of x plus h minus sine of x by h where h sine a minus sine b is nothing but 2 cos a plus b by 2 into sine a minus b by 2. So we use formula. So this becomes the limit of h tends to 0. We use the limit. 2 into cos of x plus h plus x by 2 into sine of x plus h minus x by 2 and this whole thing is by h. This x, this x cancel and this will go back. Or we will say, we will take this out, this is nothing but limit of h tends to 0 h by 2 I'll make, divide by, multiply by h by 2, 2, 2, because this is sin h by 2 form. Why? Because we know that sin h by 2 by h by 2, where h by 2 tends to 0, it becomes 1. So we'll write this in this form. Cos of x plus h by 2 into limit h tends to 0, sin of h by 2 by h by 2. Now since h tends to 0, we can also say h by 2 tends to 0. So this whole thing is 1. So this becomes, and we will put h equal to 0 here. So this becomes cos of x into 1. And that is cos of x. And that is our answer. So what we have done, we have just used this formula f dash x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x by h. And we got sine of x plus h minus sine of x by h. And then we have used this formula sin a minus sin b is nothing but 2 cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2. And then we have used this formula again that sin of x by x where x tends to 0 is equal to 1 and got the answer. Take one more example. Here also we have to derive using first principle. We have to find derivative of cos x. So here also we need to do the same thing. f dash of x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x. The whole thing divides by h and obviously h tends to 0. Correct? So I'll write this. This becomes cos of x plus h minus cos of x by h which tends to 0. Now cos a minus cos b we can say let's take this cos a plus b. Cos a plus b is nothing but cos a cos b minus the sin b. So this becomes cos x cos h minus sin x sin h minus cos x by h limit h tends to 0. Correct? Now we'll take cos x common. So this becomes cos x into cos of h minus 1 by h this is 1 is minus minus sine of h by h into sine of x and everything is h tends to 0. Here also h tends to 0. So now we will put h is equal to 0 in this. What we will see? Cos 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. This becomes 0. Correct? Actually, we can't put because 0 by 0 form is not allowed. So we'll write this as cos x and cos x h minus 1 is nothing but minus 2 sin square h by 2 by h. Correct? Minus here sin h by h limit h tends to 0 is 1 into sin x is becomes minus x. Here what we can do is here also h tends to 0 limit. So this becomes actually we can write this as minus cos x 2l put down 
break 2 by 2 inside into sine of h by 2 into sin h by 2 by h limit h tends to 0 minus minus. Now this becomes 1, this becomes 0, sin h by 2 is 0, right? And this becomes 1. So 1 into 0 into 1 is 0, it becomes 0 minus sin x. So this becomes minus like that. Correct? What we have done? We have made cos h minus 1 to be 1 minus sin square h by 2. And then we have made this sin h by 2 by h by 2 as 1 and sin h by 2 as 0 because sin of 0 is 0 and cos of 0 is 1. So 1 into 0 into 1 is 0. So this is 0. 0 minus sin x is minus sin x. That's the value of derivative of cos x. That's minus. Let's do one more derivative. We have to find the derivative of tan x. So here what we will do? Again we will say f dash of x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x the whole thing divides by h h which tends to 0 right so this becomes tan of x plus h minus tan of x by h where h tends to 0 correct so now we can write tan as sine by cos so this becomes sin x plus h by cos of x plus h minus tan x is nothing but sin x by cos x and the whole thing divides by h so let's say into 1 by h and h tends to 0 now I'll let me solve this so this becomes cos of x plus h into cos of x and it becomes cos of x sine of x plus h x h minus sine of x and cos of x plus h correct right? into 1 by h into 1 by h and h tends to 0 this is nothing but cos x sin y minus sin x cos y that is nothing but sin of x minus y so this becomes sin of x plus h minus h so minus x by by this becomes I will take h here h into 1 by cos of x plus h into cos of x. So what I have done here, I have used this formula cos a sin b minus sin a cos b is equal to sin a minus b. This is cancel and h tends to 0 element. So if you see that this value will become 1, correct? Because limit of sin of x by x where x tends to 0, this becomes 1 into 1 by cos of x plus 0 is cos of x that means this becomes 1 by cos square that is 6 square so here also what we have done we have just found f dash of x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x by h we have solved this to get the answer as 6 we have solved this example f x equal to sin x square so this is you can say that f x is equal to nothing but sin x into sin x correct we can use the principle of multiplication. So this becomes f dash x is nothing but d by dx of sin x into sin x plus sin x into d by dx of sin x. Correct? First differentiate the first part, keep the second part constant. Keep the first part constant, differentiate the second part. So this becomes cos x into sin x plus sin x into cos x. This becomes 2 sin x cos x and then we got sin of 2x. 
Very simple. We have to use the formula of multiplication for our derivative pair. We have to find the derivative of this function fx is equal to sin x cos x. So here we will get f dash of fx. This will be f of sin x. F dash of cos x plus f dash of sin x into f. This becomes e of sin x. This is not that. I mean, this is, I'm saying the differential of e of sin x into f dash of cos x is nothing but minus sin x plus f dash of sin x is nothing but cos x into cos x cos x. So what you get is cos square x minus sin square x, and that is nothing but cos of and that is the answer. Very simple, we have assumed that this is of the form px into qx, and then first we have taken this px, differentiated qx, differentiated px, and taken qx. What the answer? Let's take one example fx is equal to cortex. Cortex, we can write this as the form of cos x by sin x, and this I can assume as px by qx. So for my case, px is equal to cos x and qx is equal to sin x, right? So if I'm saying d by dx of px by qx, it's, it's nothing but d by dx of d by dx of px into qx minus uh, minus px into d by dx of qx and the whole thing divided by qx squared. Right? There's a formula. So we'll do that. d by dx of px is nothing but cos x into sin x minus cos x into d by dx of sin x and the whole thing will divide by qx is nothing but sin square sin x so sin square so d by dx of cos x is nothing but minus sin x into sin x is minus sin square x minus cos x and d by dx of cos x is nothing but sin x into cos x because minus cos square x and the whole thing divided by sin square x. So minus will be common, this becomes minus of sin square x plus cos square x by sin square x. So sin square x plus cos square is equal to 1, so this becomes minus 1 by sin square x. So this becomes minus cos x. Thus, we have used the formula of division d by dx of px by qx is nothing but d by dx of px into qx minus px into d by dx of qx by qx square. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.